Last week we was a dumpster fire. Last week we was the butt of the jokes. Now everybody big mad at the Canes. Now everybody want to throw out excuses. Don't get mad because we out recruiting your favorite team on the trail. What's up, guys? Welcome to NFD TV Canes All Canes All Day. If you're rocking with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never ever miss out on a video coming fresh off of a big time commit, getting five star. The best defensive player in the 2023 class, Kormani McClain. The Miami Hurricanes were in the news again for recruiting. Miami just flipped Caleb Spencer, who was originally committed to Oklahoma. He made this official on his timeline by putting out the letter. Y'all know, y'all know the letter, the decommitment letter, letting the world know that, hey, Oklahoma, we appreciate you. Thank you. But I'm going to take my talents over to the U and he will be playing for the Miami Hurricanes. 6'2", 210 pounds. Some people say he's a linebacker. Some people say he's a safety. But what we know is he's versatile. Here's an article that Andrew Ivins wrote about him a while back when he was committed to Oklahoma. Check it out. When Brent Venable was a defensive coordinator at Clemson, he had the ultimate defensive chess piece in Isaiah Simmons, a unicorn of all sorts that could play linebacker, safety, nickel, corner, and even defensive end. The odds of Venable's finding another exact replica of Simmons are pretty slim, but it won't be long before he's coaching up another defensive utility man in Caleb Spencer. Now, hey, Anybody who gets compared to Isaiah Simmons, bring him over. Bring him over. Now, I haven't had a chance to slice and dissect this guy's tape. He's a three-star according to 247, was committed to Oklahoma, now going to be playing at Miami, has gotten, has drawn comparisons to Isaiah Simmons. I'm excited for the kid. Now, looking at the big picture of this situation, Guys, we're going to be seeing a lot of people that talk about Miami NIL, Miami throwing the bag, Miami this, Miami that. But the bottom line is when you look at the guys on this staff, when you look at Mario Cristobal's reputation, you can pick holes at what he does on game days when it, when it comes to calling an offense or, or this or that. One thing that I will not, one thing that I will not even debate is how good of a recruiter Mario Cristobal is and how serious he takes recruiting. Kermani coming to Miami is a surprise, but us having a top 10 class, us pulling these talents, it's not a surprise when you know what type of recruiter Mario is in his reputation when it comes to that. Do NIL deals play a part in it? Maybe so. I'm pretty sure. But... Miami has been one of the honest schools out there that's saying, hey, we're giving these young kids an opportunity for NIL deals. They're going to do stuff for this or that. And hey, that's how it is. That is the new way. But, and this is, this is, to, this is to all the trolls out there. This is to everybody who's not rocking with the Miami Hurricanes to just try to throw it off as it's just us throwing the bag. That's just a lazy take. And y'all just big bad. Because y'all not doing what we doing. Y'all not doing what we doing. And listen, the one thing that I'm not worried about is us having top recruiting classes under Mario Cristobal. Now, will this staff be able to develop these kids and get them to the next level? Will this staff be able to put together enough talent and develop that talent to where we can start winning some conference championships, some big games, some national championships that is yet to be seen. But when it comes to recruiting, we run this Caleb Spencer flips from Oklahoma to Miami. If you want to know what I think Miami's secret weapon is, make sure you click on this video on the screen, and I'm out. Peace.